deep in the recesses of the backyard sits a brand new structure, a gray army men super fortress. The Greys built this structure to survive in the Great Cockroach Wars. Roaches would spawn in and eat the Greys. The Greys had to fight back. It worked for a time until the Green Army Men discovered the Super Fortress base and wanted it for themselves. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Daily Tactics here, and today we're back, brother, with some more of Attack on Toys, the brand new Army Men Battle Simulator. Look at this screenshot with the heli in the background, the explosions, the flamethrower. This looks dope. What the heck? That's awesome. Either way, in today's battle, we are going to be doing a battle at a super fortress, a Grey Army Men super fortress to be exact. This was made on the Steam Workshop, uh, so whoever made this, massive shout out to you. Thank you for creating some awesome content for us YouTubers to utilize. Um, and today, we are going to be seeing the Green Army Men spawn in over here and attack the Grey Super Fortress while a group of cockroaches also attacks the super fortress here it should be awesome there's also like fire ants and things like that it's really really dope either way guys if you enjoy these attack on toys videos be sure to smash that like button let's try and get 700 likes in the first 24 hours if we can that would be awesome comment down below what other types of battles you'd like to do i know there's a d-day one on the steam workshop as well right now that i would really like to play so we might be doing that uh and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already we're trying to reach 350k subs by the end of 2021 if we could do that i would be pogging like a madman either way let's get into this battle boys all right gamers here we go we're gonna go ahead and press start right here and that didn't work why why you no worky one second okay there we go now we got it to work and we're just gonna activate photo mode so that should put us in uh yeah third person so we can kind of watch here's actually the hives of the cockroaches and things like that it seems like the green army men are just gonna take those out right away although some ants are coming for them early on uh so the cockroaches and things like that are going to be eating them oh there's zombies in this too there are zombies in this game what the heck broken egg yolk weird and wasps all right, I did not know that these were on this map. That is very cool. The greens are getting taken for a ride here. It's not looking too good for the greens, but the greys in their super fortress are doing quite well. Oh, zombies are spawning in though. Oh my goodness. Whoa, I just no clipped back to the spawn over here. That's very weird. Here come more bugs towards the greens. It seems like the greens might not have realized that this fortress, um, you know, was under such threat all the time. And therefore, as the greens are attacking, the greys themselves are falling too. So at the end of the day, it might be a bugathon here, and the bugs might just end up winning this entire thing. The Huey up in the air seems to be the only thing that is surviving the current onslaught of bugs. Even the Super Fortress falls to zombies and bugs very, very early on there. Uh, and the Huey just being so high up in the air is able to survive. It's more or less that the greens and the greys are like fighting together rather than fighting separately even though the greens went into this with the intention of trying to take over the grey land here. Wowza, and the bugs are just coming on in here. Things are not looking too hot. Yeah, the bugs take out another tank right there, and all that's really left is the helicopter. This is a scene like straight out of um, World War Z with the helicopter just firing while the zombies are all over the place. It's kind of dope, I'm not going to lie. This is pretty epic. Um, but I, I literally don't think that the bugs or the zombies can even kill that thing, so... Is this just going to be like, oh, there's flamethrowers going off too. That's so cool. Is this just going to be like infinite helicopter play here? I genuinely don't know. Yeah, this might just be the rest of the battle is the helicopter chilling here. Roasting some ants. Roasting some zombos. Oh, it's actually... Oh! It got shot down by the wasps. Oh, oh no! Oh! Wow. Here's one flamethrower unit left. He's trying to survive. He's trying to survive. Oh, he's dead. He is the big dead right there. Holy cow. 
Yikes, dude. All right, well, that's that battle. I still do want to see the Super Fortress, so maybe we'll eliminate the greens and just go with the gray Super Fortress next time. Okay, gamers, we are spawning outside the fortress here. Let's just get on in here, and we should have, yes, the fight is commencing uh, between the greys and the bugs. The uh, green army men had to spawn outside because you can't not have a player in these, so to go into battle simulator mode, you have to spawn outside so he doesn't interfere with the battle. Either way, that's enough of that. Let's just go ahead and watch the gray super fortress here combat the incoming bug invasion. This time, there's no greens, so actually, maybe... This will end up doing a little bit better uh, for the Greys, considering the fact that they don't have to really fight another enemy at all. It's all up to them this time. And the Super Fortress is in full swing here, doing, doing a bang-up job. We got mortars <laughs> crushing incoming roaches. That is actually so sick. This is so dope. I love this game, straight up. This, this is one of the games of the year for me. Uh, this is definitely indie game of the year for me, I would say. Maybe not game of the year. Game of the year might go to New World. I don't know if anyone's playing New World right now, but it is very, very fun. It's a, it's a brand new MMO. I think it's like one of the first games ever made by Amazon's uh, game company. It's pretty crazy. Oh, zombies are starting to hatch. I wonder what unit creates zombies. Like, is it is it the bugs that maybe eat a zombie and then it turns army men into zombies themselves? Or are there actual zombie units spawning back here? I think it might be a particular bug that actually like turns them into zombies. Either way, without the greens on the battlefield, the greys are actually doing pretty wunderbar, pretty wonderfully. Yeah, baby. Turret up top here, just crushing anything that comes into sight. The Huey just doing a bang up job per usual. But here comes the swarm of wasps. And uh, this is where I think things get a little bit tricky because this is definitely gonna kill this Huey. That's a whole lot of wasps going up against one Huey right there and the Huey does start going down. Huey Lewis and the news, and the news is that the people are dead. And the zombies do go after those folks right there, the toy soldiers, uh, and they end up killing them and turning them into zombies. So now there's going to be a new wave of zombies coming forward. Why is there a mine detector? Oh, he's getting the plastic on the field. I understand. Oh, wait. So does the spider shoot venom that turns things into zombies? Yo, that's OP. You can shoot people and turn them into zombies? That is busticated, bro. That is straight up busted. A bunch of zombies trying to enter on in here, but getting gunned down before they really can. Wasps now targeting the Sherman on the battlefield here. It does end up going down, and some zombies come out of it as well. Medics tried to get to the Sherman. Medics can actually help vehicles too, which is interesting, um, but they were too late. Medic now trying to heal his boy before he inevitably goes down due to incoming zombies, and the zombies do get him and start going after the other infantrymen, but the zombies got a lot of health in this man, and they are able to crack some serious shots. Wasp goes down over there due to the gray turret managing to absolutely destroy it a couple of zombies up on the walls now this is no good oh and they are spreading the virus no good oh no oh i think it's the spider on the outside shooting them also wasps on the outside wait so if wasps get a kill too they turn into zombies as well let's let's myth bust this yeah so if wasps get a kill they turn the army men into zombies that's crazy that seems super busted i'm not gonna lie Mortar man over here, launching some tubes, baby. <laughs> I do like that. Mortars are probably one of my favorite units in all battle simulators. Men of war, I love them. There are now gray army men robots. We got mechs on the battlefield, baby. Let's go. Additionally, a squad of gray soldiers going out of the base now. And I think what they're going to be trying to do is hunt down the nests of these things. So if they can take out the nests, the greys do end up securing a victory here. They take out a couple of roaches and a spider. None of them have been zombificated just yet. More roaches on their flank. Luckily, they're within view of the super fortress, so they are able to get a little bit of assistance from them at this juncture in the battle. They push forward. There are some blue spiders over here. Let's see if these things can zombificate these guys. Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, I think he shot a guy in the back and created a zombie. Yikes. All right, so Spider's also creating zombies on the battlefield here. We've got a Minesweeper out here. He is going for uh, any plastic he can find to get some more resources for the Greys to use right there. Oh, yikes, more zombies. This is not going well. 
You see, the Greys are just holding on to a thread at this juncture, I think. They don't have a lot left in them. They do get a few units spawning out of these barracks every so often, which is pretty nice, but the they're getting zombified pretty quick, man. However, the Super Fortress walls have yet to be fully penetrated. I think the best thing the bugs can do is what this spider is doing right now. Zombify the boys on the walls and get them to attack the boys on the walls. If they can get a chain reaction going, which hasn't really happened in full yet, but if they can get that to happen in full, get a full chain reaction on this wall of zombified peoples, then I think the bugs have a chance to win. There we go. There's one zombie right there, but is it going to be enough? They do take out the sniper there. Oh, is he dead? No, he's just on the ground. He might be able to get back up. Okay. Yeah, the chain reaction is still not commencing, but we do have roaches and zombies on the interior here now. Oh, look at this. I never saw this before. We have a straight up machine gun nest filled to the brim with a ton of medics just healing everyone up on the walls. Now, that's some impressive stuff right there. I do like that quite a bit. Uh, it looks like the gun up here is what they are healing currently because it must be taking some sort of damage from somewhere. Here comes an incoming spider. It goes down before it can zombify anyone. All right, we have a brief pause in the action here. Bugs uh, respawning more wasps, it seems, uh, as well as perhaps some roaches to come in too. All right, we have a little bit more action rounding off over here. It seems like some fire ants tried to go in. We've also got a large-scale invasion from some spiders here, which are uh, coming in to try and take out these forward operating soldiers. I accidentally just took a screenshot. My B <laughs> did not mean to take a screenshot right there, but hey, it was an epic moment. I bet it's a beautiful, beautiful screenshot. All right, zombified troopers moving in here along with some roaches and spiders. But again, that turret up there is the biggest threat uh, to the roaches and zombies at this point. I mean, that, that turret has just been nonstop crushing these guys, destroying them, and preventing them uh, from actually really infiltrating this super fortress right here. So what I might do now is I might let, well, let's wasp, watch this wasp invasion first. But after that, I might go ahead and just let this battle commence for a little bit and, and just let it kind of go um, and see what ends up happening after like five minutes here. Because it seems like uh, we're at a bit of an impasse where the attackers can't really do too much. They're sort of stuck, you know? The, the super fortress is just holding on so tight that there's no wiggle room for attackers to actually get in there. I think their best chance, again, is going to be to zombify something, but it's just not working out for them. Spider trying to zombify this trooper, but the medics in the back, man, are just healing every unit. Every single unit that gets damaged is just getting instantly healed here. It is no good. No good in the slightest, baby. All right, so why don't I go ahead and just... Uh, let this ride for a little bit here, and uh, we'll, we'll end up seeing what, what goes down, what happens over a bit more of an extended period of time. Alright gamers, I let it run for about six or seven minutes there, and the base is still very, very much alive. <laughs> <laughs> the the bugs have barely put a dent into the forces and more forces are continuing to respawn as we speak so i'm gonna go ahead and call this battle um a victory for the super fortress actually uh because i mean technically these guys can come on infinitely but so can the uh gray super fortress and the objective here is to defend which is being done successfully so i'd call it a victory although it's more likely to be sort of a draw you know but but i think the objective was accomplished to defend and they're just going to continue to defend for eternity here for eternity they're just forever going to be sitting here shooting bugs and taking them out unless of course this attack works right now it's definitely not going to wait maybe wait hold up no they're getting wrecked Th this bot is op man they are just they're just crushing the attackers so this is definitely a great victory here Props to the Greys for doing a great job on the Super Fortress, and props uh, to the creator of the Super Fortress for doing a great job making it, because this was really, really fun, and I look forward to more uh, Steam Workshop stuff to come from Attack on Toys. Like I said, there is a D-Day battle that I definitely want to go ahead and play pretty soon, uh, but other than that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll definitely do some more stuff. Wait, did one of the nests just get blown up? I think it did. Wow. it's kind of rare. Well, one of the nests is dead. 
I wonder if they'll destroy their... Oh, there's a ton of nests. Never mind. <laughs> Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this battle. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you'd like to see some more Attack on Toys in the future. All right, guys. Peace out. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.